Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So guys, on today's video tutorial, we are going to be tackling question 3.2. And question 3.2, guys, deals with probability, okay? So we are going to be calculating probability. We are going to be interpreting what our answer means on the probability scale. Okay, so this is the probability scale and we're also going to be applying the complementary rule to determine the probability of something not happening. Okay, provided that you're given the probability that it will happen. Okay, so please make sure that you watch this entire video tutorial. guys in today's video tutorial we're going to be tackling question 3.2 question 3.2 guys deals with probability and before we get started please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel guys i know i'm not saying this much uh, too much in these video tutorials so please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and also please make sure that you click on the notification bell just to make sure that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial guys and also please 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 pretty please Please share all these video tutorials with your friends. I know that these video tutorials will help, most especially based on the fact that I just take on a more simplistic approach um, to all of these problems, okay? And then if you're still interested in, be in being part of the Zoom online lessons, guys, please jump onto this wagon, okay? All the lessons that we've basically done on the 2nd of March, 7th of March, I've recorded them for you guys that maybe if someone just wants to join in a bit later, you can still join and you can still catch up. We are going through measurements and measurements, it counts so much in paper too. So if you struggle with measurements, right, please, it will really benefit you if you join. Okay, guys. So let's get started. All right. So it says question 3.2. Unati is advised to choose a specific brand of ready mix plaster to prevent the dampness in the walls. Okay. Question 3.2.1. At the store, there are five available brands, right? Unfortunately, Unati forgets the names, uh, the name of the specific brand. So if she randomly selects one of the available brands, okay, determine the probability that she will select the specific brand. So like I mentioned, when we calculate in probability, guys, probability is equal to the favorable outcomes divided by the total outcomes. Let us write that down. So what do I mean when I talk about favorable outcomes i'm basically saying that the outcomes that we want so what will lead you here what will guide you here is what the question is saying so you need to basically read the question carefully and determine what are the outcomes that we want and what are the total outcomes so let's have a look right so it says that at the store there are five available brands Okay, so what can we already notice there? That means that this is our total. So the five available brands is that, that those are the total outcomes that we are given there, okay? And then what are the favorable outcomes? What are the outcomes that this question is asking, is telling us about, right? The outcomes that we want, okay? So it says that if she randomly, she randomly selected one of the available brands. So she selected just one. So that is what she selected. That is the favorable outcome. Okay. So in this case, the favorable outcome is what she selected. Okay. What she took, which is one, divided by what are the total outcomes? There are five available uh, brands. Okay. So if you take one divided by five, you can basically, because they haven't been specific in how you should write your final answer. They didn't say write it as a decimal. They didn't say write it as a percentage, okay? So in this case, you can choose how you want to leave your answer, okay? So I'm going to leave my answer as a decimal. So 1 divided by 5 or 1 over 5 is equal to 0 0.2. If you decided to leave this as a percentage, it will just be 20%, okay? 
or you can even leave it as a fraction so whichever one or whichever way you've decided to leave your answer that will be correct because they were not specific in how you should basically leave your answer okay so we've basically calculated the probability that she will select the specific brand okay look so let's have a look at question 3.2.2 it says there is a 0 0.75 probability that the dampness will appear okay so now we need to be very careful okay we are told that the probability that the dampness will appear the probability that the dampness will appear is equal to 0 0.75 okay so if the incorrect brand of ready made plaster is used the question is saying determine the probability that the dampness will not appear if the incorrect ready mix plaster is used so in these type of questions when they're talking about will not you need to think of the complementary rule okay and remember guys what does the complementary rule state okay so with the complementary rule i basically mentioned that the probability that something will happen plus the probability that something will not happen is equal to one okay so in this case we want to determine the probability that something will not happen so we want to determine what is p will not happen okay but what is given so this question is so nice because if you want to determine that something will not happen and they've already given you the probability that it will happen you just substitute it into this formula to get the probability that it will happen okay when we are calculating probability guys i forgot to mention we just want to determine what is the likelihood of something happening what is the likelihood of it raining tomorrow what is the likelihood of you winning the lotto considering the fact that there's a billion people or a million people that play that play the lotto every day what is the probability that tomorrow it will rain if they tell you that okay when you watch the news they tell you it's 30 percent chance of rain what is what what is what does that mean so that is basically what we are calculating when we calculating probability what is the likelihood that something will happen okay so in this case we are given that the probability that the dampness will appear so the probability that something will happen is 0 0.5 so we just substitute probability that it will happen is 0 0.75 part plus okay probability that it will not happen okay is equal to one all that we want to do now we want to solve this equation for the probability that the dampness will not appear do you see that Okay, so when you solve this equation and you want to isolate, you want this P will not happen to be on its own, what do we need to do? That means we need to minus the 0 0.75 on the left. And when you minus the 0 0.75 on the left, we need to minus it on the right. Okay, so the probability that dampness will not appear. So I've just written that now as well. I just wanted to make a point there so that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 so if you take 1 minus 0 0.75 and you punch that into your calculator you'll get an answer of 0 0.25 so the probability that this event will not happen or the probability that the dampness will not appear is equal to 0 0.25 okay so you need to be very careful with this question because they love asking this um, concept where you need to apply the complementary rule and also just a tip to help you that now I'm dealing with the complementary rule you'll get the right something will not happen what is the probability that something will not happen okay that's supposed to get your lights on that you're dealing with the complementary rule so you have to figure out what is the probability that it will happen what is the probability that it will not happen okay is equal to zero and then you work with whatever is given to you in this case you'll find that okay they'll give you how to determine the probability that it will happen and you can just solve the equation for the probability that it will not 
happen okay nice let's have a look at the next question question 3.2.3 so now we want to interpret this answer that we've obtained in question 3.2.2 so let's see it says the probability scale below shows the likelihood for various uh, probabilities okay so if you get a zero once you basically calculate probability we know that the chance of that event happening is not possible. If you get 100% or 1, the chance of that event happening is certain, definitely. Okay. If you get 50% or 0 0.5, the chance of that event happening is equally like. Okay? If you get 0 0.25 or 25%, the chance or the likelihood of that event happening is less likely. And if you get 75% or 0 0.75, the chance or the likelihood of that event happening is more likely. So now we need to write down the likelihood that best describes your answer given to question 3.2.2. So remember, what was the answer that we've obtained in question 3.2.2? We find the probability that the dampness will not appear is 0 0.25. So what does this mean? It means that the likelihood that the dampness will not appear is less likely because 0 0.25 falls in the less likely department on our probability scale okay so our answer there is so the answer for question 3.2.3 is less likely okay so you just need to remember how the different percentages are distributed on the probability scale all right, so that is it for today's video tutorial, guys, on probability, okay? The take for this video tutorial is that you need to be able to, and you need to be able to apply the complementary rule that the probability of something happening plus the probability of something not happening is equal to zero. You need to be able to interpret your answer that you've obtained for probability on the probability scale. What does the answer that you've basically obtained mean on the scale, provided they give you a scale, okay, right? What does it mean, okay? And you just need to be able to calculate probability. How do you calculate probability? Probability is equal to favorable outcome divided by total outcome. Favorable outcomes is the outcomes that we want. What is the question asking us to find the probability of? Okay, divided by how many total outcomes do you have? All right, so that is it for today's video tutorial, guys. On the next video tutorial, we are going to be tackling question 3.3. Question 3.3 also still falls under measurement. We're going to be calculating or working with time. We're going to be working with conversions. We're going to be working with time. We're going to be working with conversions. We're going to be working with temperature. Okay, so as you can see, guys, at this point, you should see why i've decided to start with measurements okay when it comes to doing my online lessons or online group um lessons because paper two oh, a huge chunk of paper two deals with measurements so if you struggle with measurements calculating area surface area volume parameter dealing with conversions bmi right you will fail this paper okay so please make sure that you go through measurements because measurements is very important for paper two as well as maps and plans is very important paper two all right that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.